Hi everyone! Today we're going to be cooking chili cheese sweet potatoes and I hope you enjoy! For our ingredients we have ground meat. I'm using lamb. You could use ground beef. Sharp white cheddar sliced up. And here are our spices, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and I like to add cayenne to make it a little spicy. You do not have to do that. We also have a big can of black beans. For vegetables, I am adding sliced white onion and four little bell peppers. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to start off with is we want to cook our sweet potato. So, I'm not sure if you have ever cooked a sweet potato or not, but it looks just like this. What we do is we cut the ends off and we slice it in half. And you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We slice the sweet potato in half. We put some oil down on our cookie sheet with the sliced halves face side down. We're going to bake the sweet potato for about 40 minutes or until we can stick a fork in it. I have already cooked my sweet potato here so we do not have to wait for that. And we're going to need to have a frying pan ready. First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting our ground meat into the frying pan. You want to be careful with raw meat. You don't want it to get any of the juices anywhere because um, you know it can make you sick. So I'm going to throw this away and to stir up our meat while it's cooking. onions to the pan. I cut about half an onion up, so I'm going to do half of that in the pan. And then we're going to stir that up. I want to make sure that the meat isn't sticking to the bottom of the pan. I like to cook in cast iron. I find that cooking in cast iron is a lot easier. Also, when you cook in cast iron, you get a little bit of iron in your food, and that's good for you. Okay, so I'm just breaking up the meat so that it's getting nice and evenly cooked. I see how I'm not stopping, I'm continuously turning the meat over, cutting it up with my spoon so that I get chunks of meat all in the same spoon. Slice up these little bell peppers I got here. I'm gonna take off the green stems. We just slice them into little pieces. Okay. And then we're gonna add these to the meat. Now I'm going to 
gonna grab my can opener. And I'm gonna open up the jar of beans. These are black beans. You can use any kind of beans. You could do a combination too, a black beans and a pinto or kidney beans. Okay, so beans always have some water in it. So I'm just gonna dump this water out of the can without losing any of the beans. And now I'm gonna dump this can of beans into my meat here. Okay, so now I'm mixing meat with the beans. And I'm going to just let that all cook up together. Okay. So, since you're waiting on your sweet potato to cook, I suggest not starting the meat until after the sweet potato is done. Or maybe about 10 minutes before it's going to be done. We also want to taste things periodically and see if you want to add more spices to them. Sometimes I like things to have a lot of flavor, so I might just add more spices if I feel like it needs it. Okay, stirring this up again. good and smelling good. Now I think I'm going to add some garlic. So I like to add garlic towards the end of the cooking period because um, I don't want to overcook garlic too much because then you lose the flavor and you also lose some of the um, medicinal properties of garlic if you cook it too long. Garlic's great for warding off colds and flus. It's just an overall antibacterial so I like to add garlic to almost everything I eat. So I'm adding two cloves of garlic here to the, to the dish. And I'm going to just chop that up really quickly into small pieces. You want to make sure you chop garlic small enough. You don't want too big garlic pieces in there. Okay. And that here and stir it up. Okay. Looking good. Now since I already cooked my sweet potato, I'm just going to microwave this for a minute. That way it's nice and warm. Put my spices away. Check back on here, see how this is doing. You want to continually stir your food. Otherwise it'll burn. So I never leave the kitchen when I'm cooking. I always stay pretty close to the stove so that I know that what's happening here and things aren't getting overcooked or getting too hot. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off now. Didn't take very long to cook. I know that it's ready when I can see that the meat is all the way cooked and everything looks to be blended and warm. All right, so now while we're waiting on this, I'm gonna go ahead and get a plate for my sweet potato. Okay, you wanna always be careful, things can be hot when they're coming out of their microwave. Sweet potato, and now there's my spoon. I'm going to spoon some of our chili mixture on top of my sweet potato, making sure to get it all nice and covered. And I'm going to add some more of those onions. I like raw onions, that's totally optional. And last, I have the cheese. I like sharp cheddar, but you can use any kind of cheese. Shredded is best. And we put it right on top there. And ta-da! We have a chili cheese sweet potato. Healthy and delicious.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.